Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ, the channel where the craft knife is definitely mightier than the sword. So what's this video about? Um, well, I've been kit bashing, uh, specifically kit bashing a unit of uh, Volks Grenadier for my, my late war uh, Germans for bolt action. Anyone that knows me knows that I, I love to kit bash, I love to convert and combine the plastic kits from Warlord Games uh, to create really unique and personalised um, units and sections for my fire armies of bolt action. Um, and today's been no exception. Um, I've been planning on adding a, a unit of Volks Grenadiers um, for quite a while. Um, now I know there's a, there's a metal box out there uh, that Warlord have produced, but it's not really something I, I really want to buy. It's metal. I don't get on with metal. Um, so I thought, well, why not? Why not use my extensive kit bashing skills to uh, to, to pop together um, a, a unique army, uh, a unique section of um, Volks Grenadiers? So what I thought I'd do would be a very quick video just to show you uh, what the squad looks like and the bits and pieces that are used to um, to put the squad together. The two main boxes that I've used for today's kit bashing is this one, which is the, the German Infantry um, Winter uh, box. Absolutely brilliant box this. Uh, I must have bought about three or four of them so far, uh, but they are really, really good. And the German Grenadier box. Um, it's getting on a bit now, this box, but it's still still as the business. Um, some really, really nice touches and is really suitable uh, for a bit of kit bashing. So that's the, that's the box we'll, uh, 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 I used. Um, there's also one and one or two bits and pieces from the US Marine Corps box, but not that many. And I'll, I'll point those out when, when I get to them. Now the first, oh sorry, just go through the composition of, of the squad first. So I've gone for a section of 10, uh, all armed with assault rifles, except the NCO who's got an SMG and a light machine gun team, um, but the loader has also got an assault rifle as well. Um, so what, I've, what I've, I thought I'd do first is go through how I put the NCO together. Now with my NCOs, um, I like them to, to stand out from the rest of the squad. Um, now you can, you, can, you can achieve this look by adding um, um, a field cap or a forage cap. Or What I tend to do is have them pointing and shouting um, like NCOs are fond of. Um, anyone that's seen the cover of any Sven Hassel book going back in the midst of time, well, know that a Second World War German NCO has pointed and shouted quite a lot. Um, this is why they were on the covers of Sven Hassel's books. So that's the look I always aim for when I'm doing my um, my NCOs. So there should be a picture of the NCO on the screen now. Um, and I'll just talk through how I went about putting this guy together. But the majority of the, the, the model is from the, the winter kit. Uh, the body and the arms and the equipment are all from um, the, the winter box. The head is from the Grenadier box and I've just added uh, an NCO an NCO head. Um, I didn't want it to stand out too much, just something to give it a little bit of differentiation on the battle battlefield from all the other guys that are wearing steel helmets. The biggest challenge with this was that I wanted him to be holding um, his SMG in one hand as if he was sort of at rest or not specifically firing it. Now, the only problem is that the, the winter um, winter box doesn't have any kind of grippy hands so I was a bit of a loss. So I thought, right, let's do a bit of a bit of cutting and chopping. So what I did was I got the arm here. You can see that. Now this is the arm that's that's holding the um, the LMG ammunition canisters. All I all I did was simply snipped off the hand, filed it down, and then using a. a Kind of a grippy hand i call them i like can open an open hand um for, for gripping weapons from the uh, usmc box um that arm is is law is short sleeved so very simply just chopped the hand off at the wrist uh, sanded both uh, sections down so they were flat they went together really well now to get the uh the smg to sit flush in the hand um what i did was very carefully used a craft knife um, to kind of file down um, and, and give something for the for the hand to adhere to. Um, I think the look looks really well. It's kind of natural and it isn't sticking out at an odd angle, which is sometimes what can happen if you try and put um, hands in weapons that shouldn't be there. Um, that sounds really dodgy, but um, 
moving on. Uh, so that's <laughs> that's what the what the the, the NCO looks like. Um, he's pointing, he's shouting, and he's clutching in an SMG. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, up next is the uh, LMG team, and it looks something like this. It should be on the screen now. So with, with this team, I've combined elements from both boxes, from the, um, the Grenadier and also the Winter Kit. Now, we'll, I'll start on the, 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 the dude that's carrying the, um, the LMG. So what I've done is I've used the Grenadier body, but um, I wanted him to be carrying the uh, the LMG from the winter the winter kit and the problem here is the the winter kit is there are there they're all clad in great coats and the the arms have got or well, the sleeves have got cuffs on so I thought no problem I have a craft knife so all I very very carefully did was just sort of cut away at the plastic um, and removed the um, the cuff as far as I could I then came in with a the file um, filed this down and yeah you can't see the, the 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 cuff anymore and it looks like a really a really natural fit um against the uh, the grandier body um for the head it was also a winter winter grandier head this one was just a plain steel helmet um and the equipment so that the bread bag and the water bottle is from the um from the grandier box in his right hand he, he's carrying um a um i think it's a telemine uh, but again, it was just a case of filing the filing the cuff down, um, and yeah, it look it, it it looks natural. It, it fits really well. And I was really 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 happy with how it turned out. Um, I'll be using this technique moving forward where with other figures. So the loader, again, I've used the body from um, the Winter Grandier box, and also the assault rifle. Now he's clutching this in one hand um, as he's advancing. Now again with the with. With the ammunition box, um, I wanted it to be a little bit different. So rather than using the canisters, I've gone for the ammunition box. But again, there's, I don't think there's one uh, of this in the um, the winter German box. So again, I turned to the <clears throat> the arm carrying the canisters, snipped it off, uh, and again just using the um, the arm from the Grenadier box, just snipped that off as well at the wrist and added the hand clutching the ammunition box. Combine the two together added it to the uh, the body and again fit really well uh, i left the cuffs on as he's got a great coat uh, and the equipment is also from the um the winter grandier box now the head i don't know why but for some reason with this guy in mind i wanted him to be to be wounded um now i remembered that in the um the, the us marine corps box there's a um uh, a guy in there a head which has got a bandage um going over one eye i thought that would be absolutely perfect for this um so that's what i did um, out of that, the, the head fits really well. Um, so that's the um, that's the LNG team. I think they look rather. They look quite good. Um, they look, what what I like about kit bashing um, like this is that they there's no uniformity, and that's what I really like about late war German uniforms. Everybody was wearing something different to the next guy, and there was, there was no real kind of cohesion or or, or or uniformity or unison between between sections. Um, and this is what Kip Basham um, re is really good at representing. Up next, we just have um, the uh, your, your basic grunt of the um, of the section. Uh, again, these are all armed with um, with SMGs. Uh, one guy is just he, he's standard. He's just standard uh, Winter German. All the all, all the, the the bits and pieces of his kit is from the Winter German kit. The rest have a combination of the two. Um, so with this guy here. This is just a, it's a winter body. Um, what I've done is added the assault rifle arms from the Grand Ear kit, and then added <coughs> a, a peat cap, again, from the from the winter box, just with a forage cap on. Uh, I think that really represents a Vols Grand Ear really quite well. Uh, again, the equipment is from the from the standard Grand Ear box, um, but that, uh, the equipment really fits well with the with the the winter great coats. Um, it gives it a bit of character. I really like this. It, it, it literally took me a couple of minutes to do this. There was no real cu uh, cutting or filing. It was just a case of putting two different arms on um, a different body, and yeah, works works quite well. Um, this guy, uh, so he's he's running. Um, he's got he's clutching his. Um, assault rifle in, in one hand and then the other one I wanted it to look like he was actually running um, 
So I used the um, the arm from the winter box that it normally combines. It normally it's normally slots into the hand section of um, a, 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 an assault rifle. But with this, I went back to the US Marine box again and just cut off that same hand that I used on the NCO and put that in and it looks like he's running and he's shouting. Um, the Sven Hassel cover there. But again, all the equipment is from the Winter German box. Um, yeah, again, really happy with that. Adds a bit of character. Um, and I think I think just combining the kits really, really gives it that character. You're, you're, not, you're not confined to the... Um, to the, the box you're working with uh, but no that looks really well the rest of them what i've gone for is i've used the three um for these that were well, they're all they've all got zelt bands on um, over their the grandy uniform so what this allowed me to do is is just i didn't bother filing down the cuffs on these um because you can't really see the, the 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 top that they're wearing so it could just be a new variant of top it could be anything and uh, depends which quartermaster they've been speaking to uh, and what they've been issued but again these are a combination of the the um, standard grenadier bodies and i've just added the uh, the assault rifle arms from the winter box and added a a, a mixture of equipment from the grenadier box but also the the pouches uh, the ammunition pouches for the for the assault rifles um Again, some more, some some more of these. Of course, I got there'll be there'll be pictures all up as I'm speaking, um, just so you can see a bit more closer uh, of the um, the conversions. And again, these mixture of of, of um, the Grandier kits and the Winter kits, um, helmets, the heads that are all are, 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 are mixed and matched as well. And again, they they look like they're in the middle of a firefight. They're running. They're, they they look really really kind of action themed which I, I really like with my bolt action miniatures and the last one is this guy here um, now he's again a regular grump he's got a pair of binoculars um, and it's all apart from his helmet which is or his, the head which is from the grenadier uh, box it's the majority is, it, is from the um, the winter grenadier box um, and all I did was use the, the again the arm that normally connects to a firing assault rifle um, and all I did was just pop the um, the binoculars that come with the kit into the hand and there we have it again not much time at all I'd say less than two hours working on these guys um, some are fairly fairly kit bash some some are really quite simple I need to go in obviously with a bit of green stuff and um, fill in where there's a few gaps um, between between the miniatures but it just demonstrates the versatility of Warlord Games uh, miniatures um, they they work really really well uh, and in the past I've combined Falsham Jaeger with US Marine Corps I've combined Falsham Jaeger with Grenadier um, I've not done really done a lot of um, conversion with the SS box but I did use them to, to kit bash a, a section of Brandenburgers um, which I've yet to use but I'm really looking forward to using those um, but that was my Volks Grenadier uh, section that I put together today uh, in very little time at all well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's given you some inspiration for your own kit bashing. Um, if you've got any any comments or questions about um, how I went building these guys, just pop them in the um, in the, the comments section below, and I'll respond to um, to all comments and questions. But thanks for watching, uh, and as always, take care. May your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.